Hey, what's going on guys? Code Mike Akins here. In this video, we're going to be updating our occupancy. So, uh, everything that we've done until this point, <coughs> sorry guys, was actually related to uh, dealing with the bit boards, but we didn't do anything yet with the occupancy. So, uh, first I just want to show you that not, nothing is really happening to the occupancy bit boards, uh, and then we'll write some code to fix this little issue so and by the way uh updating the coupon system is incredibly important because otherwise uh, the pre-calculated attacks attack tables won't be working because they really rely on the coupon we could have actually uh well so first let me let me actually show you that uh, the coupon are not actually getting updated at the moment so let's say a coupon uh and white and uh, here, paste, and uh, now I just want to compile and run the code. So I just want to say make debug, and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable. So you see, like uh, we're making moves. Uh, we're not printing the board really, but we're making moves. But the occupancies are not are not really changing. Same for black occupancies, they just kind of frozen, and that's it. And same for both the composed occupancies. So black occupancies are not moving anywhere, and the same for both occupancies, which obviously incredibly wrong. So just to give you an idea that both occupancies are not changing as well. So in this video, we're going to be uh, implementing the simplest logic possible in order to keep track. Uh, of the occupancy updates. So without further, further ado, let's actually start writing some code. So I need to find where my make move function starts and just right below updating the canceling rights, uh, I want to uh, start updating my occupancy. So uh, update uh, occupancies. So the uh, occupancy. So the very first thing to consider. Well, uh, uh, before we start, I just like to mention two possible approaches of doing this. Obviously, we could have uh, uh, incremental be be incrementally updating our occupancies within uh, handling this different move types, but uh, that uh, opens the highway for tons of bugs to occur. So uh, I'm gonna go for a. I'm not even sure if this approach is a bit slower compared to if we just incrementally update them. But anyway, this, the way I'm supposed to be doing this is incredibly beginner-friendly. So just uh, uh, reinitializing. The, the idea is to reinitialize the occupancies from scratch every time. And as far as uh, the matter of all, all the occupancies, like for white, for black, and for both, it's just a matter of the single. Uh, U64 uh, unsigned loan loan, also known as Bitboard type. So it's literally like three big integers to reset and then just to perform uh, some bitwise or operations to restore them back. So without further ado, uh, I would actually like to dive into the implementation. So the very first thing to consider, I want to uh, reset uh, update occupancy. So uh, it's kind of section. I'm not sure how exactly this is about to be done. So probably let's say uh, reset, reset occupancies, and I just want to say mem set and then occupancies. Uh, I want to make all the uh, all of them to be zero unsigned loan loan, and the size of occupancies. Uh, but uh, I just want to use the constant because we already should have the constants constant for the size of occupancies. So this should be 24. Okay, so I just copy this 24. We can obviously check this later on, but uh, well, I guess this should be working. So mem set occupancies and 24 here. Well, okay, so <laughs> I just I just want to check this. So let's print f, uh, or it's better better to make it somewhere here. So just print f and long unsigned and the new line. And this is the formatting specifier and size of occupancies 
and this is it so this should be giving us 24 yeah this is 24 perfect so just just like just like uh, I have assumed already so uh, okay so here we just uh, resetting our occupancies completely so from now on we just have all the occupancies uh, being equal to zero so white occupancies equals to zero black equals to zero unsigned loan loan obviously and both equals to zero uh, so I guess if we just now run the code, uh, it should be, yeah, it resets, you see like it resets occupancies, uh, uh, when, uh, uh, when it makes the move, yes, yeah, so it just prints, it restores it back, but when it makes the move, it just res resets the occupancies, and this, just trust me, this is happening to, uh, not only both occupancies like here, but for whites and blacks as well. And now we need to reinitialize our occupancy. So in order to reinitialize the white occupancies, we need to look. Uh, we need to do the same that we were doing within our parse fn function. So we need to loop over white uh, pieces, white pieces bit boards, and we simply say for integer bit board piece equals to oh sorry equals to white pawn and bitboard piece is less equals the white king so remember the encoding so we're looping over this range of index indices for white pieces and this for black pieces just just to bear in mind and less equals than white king and bitboard piece plus plus and here uh, we want to initial actually this this is called update uh, white occupancies occupancies and we just want to say occu uh, occupancies indexed by the white color which is the index of zero and we want to bitwise or equals it with the bitboards indexed by the current bitboard piece. So we just set in all the pieces, all the bits available on a single bitboard to uh, the white occupancies to have all the bits set, being set up uh, where white pieces occur. All the squares where white pieces occur in, we're setting the, those bits within our white occupancy. So that's the idea. And now in order to make uh, the same for black, we need simply to say like uh, look over black pieces. Now bitboard piece would be equal to black pawn and less equals than black king. And now we want to update the black occupancies. Now occupancies black would be equal to bitboards indexed by bitboard piece within this loop. And finally, uh, we actually want to do one last thing. We want to update uh, uh, both sides' occupancies. And this is done as simple as just saying like, uh, by saying like occupancies uh, indexed by both, bitwise or equals uh, occupancies white so uh, we're bitwise ending uh, both occupancies with white pieces and then we just bitwise and bitwise, bitwise or in sorry not bitwise ending but bitwise or in obviously this this is bitwise or not bitwise end and then bitwise or in them with uh, black occupancies and if we just uh, now run the code again uh, okay Occupancies. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Not, not double P. Occupancies. Okay, some more errors. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. Why did I? Oh my god, <laughs> I forgot how to uh, the syntax for for loops. Okay, sorry for that. Yeah. Okay. So now we have this uh, both occupancies, and we see like they are getting updated every time the piece moves on captures they update it respectively so you see like if it just disappears and not going anywhere that means that the capture occurs 
So here we have the uh, uh, the incremental so-called incremental updates for both occupancies. Well, they are not really that much incremental. They are uh, kind of composed from scratch, but still, I uh, hope the idea is quite pretty clear. And now let's also test um, our occupancies for uh, for only white pieces and for only black pieces. So for only white pieces and. Here we go, so we're moving the white pieces, okay, and here we go for black pieces, well, uh, it's not really that uh, good idea to track when white to move, so it would be just resetting pieces from time to time when, yeah, when the capture is occurring, uh, so in order to in order to, to make it uh, more uh, visible i just want to change the side to black and run this one more time so now we're uh, actually moving black pieces and here we, we're printing the black uh, pieces occupancy so this is kind of it well, okay guys so this is it from my side uh, uh i really appreciate the fact you're watching these videos and following this bitburgess engine in c series uh, this is kind of almost it regarding the make move function. Uh, the only thing left here is actually uh, the next and hopefully the last video regarding the make move function uh, would have, would have be dedicated to uh, uh, checking the condition whether the kin is uh, being expo has been exposed into a check or not. And that, uh, and we're done with our make move. So uh, later on we can uh, actually we would be able to start our perf test uh, after a small preparation of get time in milliseconds functions to make it cross-platform for both Linux and Windows operating system. So uh, thanks for watching, uh, hope to see you in the next video, until then and take care.